Hey everyone, this is Bad Boogle, and on this channel, we look at ways that psychology and philosophy can help us get better at Rocket League. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some drills I've been doing to really work on the fundamentals that I just haven't been able to get down over my long experience with this game. Some of these drills are extremely difficult, but it's definitely worth it to fix some of these bad habits. Half of the first drills come from Kevpert's Elite Car Control video. However, I wanted to make things a little bit more difficult, so I can only say that the second half is inspired by his video. The easiest way to explain how these drills work is to say that no matter if the car's nose is pointed upward or downwards, that is, if the gravity is normal or reverse, there is either the shell of the car facing outwards toward you, or the left side, right side, or the bottom. In part two of the curriculum, I already discussed why drills like these will help combat building some bad habits. So if you want, you can go back and check there for an in-depth explanation of why I'm going over this. Basically, what I'm saying is that we need to create a more efficient and effective mental model of the car and the game so that we can react to situations in a more efficient and effective manner. So, as it depicts in the diagram here, there are eight ways or eight parts to this drill. For example, having the nose up and the shell out would be one, and you would try to do that three or four times, and then you would cycle on through to the next one. And when you go through all of them, you cycle through again if it's been under 10 minutes, or however long you really want to keep this training session going, though I would recommend switching to something else and then coming back to it later. If you want to hear more about why spacing is important, I have other videos going over learning psychology and some of Robert Bjork's and Alan Badley's research on the subject. So another drill I've been doing to maintain some diversity in what I practice is dribbling backwards through the first dribbling challenge. Here as well, you're going to want to do the drill for about 10 minutes. You can fiddle with this time amount a little, but it's important not to neglect your other weaknesses while kind of burning out on a single one. Our next and final drill involves making free play a more difficult environment to practice in. For this drill, you're going to need Bacchus mod, and to open it up, you just hit F2. If you don't have it, I have other videos going over how to get it, and why to use it, and what kind of things I use it for. This drill's not really anything specific, but it's doing free play with inverse gravity. A lot of the pros suggest to play free play and just hit the ball around, and I agree, it's a great way to practice. And this is one more thing you can do to really add some spice to it. And just to review, since this is the end of the video, the three drills were doing slalom with the eight different orientations, doing the first dribbling challenge backwards, and playing in free play with the gravity reversed. That's all I have for you in this video, guys. If you want to catch me on Twitch, I'm going to be streaming after I upload this tonight, and I'm finally going to get that sub button sometime this week. So if you have any questions or you just want to chat, you guys can catch me over there. Please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.